Hey guys, what's up people? Welcome to the session. I hope that everyone is doing good this evening. So yes, people, today we're going to talk about something very, 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 very interesting. Some of the five most baffling mysteries of the universe, of space, how it really works, where scientists are still trying to figure out what could be the possible end for it or you know when it all begin so anyways welcome to the session my name is anup and this is vidanto 9th and 10th english channel before we get started do not forget to like share and subscribe and if you like the video hit that like button too all right so with that said people let's start with the five amazing mysteries of the universe let's start with something dark yeah let's start with dark matter see so guys from what and all we know that is from the stars the planets all the things that you can see constitutes to about 15 percent of the entire universe's mass about 85 percent 80 to 85 percent of the universe's mass is unknown we really don't know what it is so scientists have theorized that there is something apart from what we can see and that is how the whole concept of dark matter was created out of this 85 percent 27 percent of it is dark matter and the rest is dark energy so what is dark matter is nothing but substance or you can say it's matter which does not behave like a normal matter that we see so it does not interact with light it does not interact with any kind of electromagnetic radiations so you cannot really see it you can't really detect it but yes, there is the presence of dark matter. We have proven it several times, and one of the you know one of the one of the things that the scientists have used to uh, you know theorize it or to prove it is because see guys there are you know you there are you know you can experience gravity wherever you go. So there when you calculate the gravitational force experienced by a body or the gravitational force exerted by a body or uh, the way that the body behaves under the influence of gravitation there are few things that is not matching with what we know about the mass of the body now remember when you talk about gravitational force we know that gravitational force is nothing but gravitational constant into the product of the two mass of the body divided by the distance of the square of the distance between them right we have already seen that but even with the mass no even you know if you know the mass of the body there are things that we can't calculate there are a few things that we cannot calculate by assuming that that is the only mass of the body so using that we can theorize that yes there is presence of dark matter which it you know it basically is believed that it's holding everything in space because the whole concept of gravitation itself is something which is a little weird right because you know uh, Einstein came up with his own theory Newton had his own theory so yeah the whole concept of gravitation itself is different so yes dark matter does exist but can we detect it for now no unfortunately not but yeah according to the according to the physicist you know dark matter is something which holds the entire galaxy it's like a web you know like a spider web which is holding everything in its possible place right that's the first mystery that we are yet to solve the second mystery is nothing but a black hole now we've already seen a black hole we've already discussed about a black hole what is a black hole is nothing but a, a region in space where the gravitational force is so high that not even light can escape it but have we exactly gone into a black hole no do we know what happens if we get into a black hole no and lots and lots of questions like this you know what what is inside a black hole is a singularity uh, is is what is really existing so what's on the other side of a black hole so there's a lot of mystery behind this as well but yes it is one thing is for sure that the gravitational pull of a gravi of a black hole is so very high that not even light can escape it. and that's why it looks pitch black especially in the center so anything that enters into the event horizon they can never escape it so that's the second mystery that we are, we are yet to yet to solve the third mystery is called as the space road now this is very interesting so here's what happened guys i'll take you to a simple story so nasa in 2006 nasa in 2006 launched a simple balloon a very uh, big balloon about 37 kilometers from the earth's surface now the whole point of this 
balloon being released out was to detect radio waves. Now, radio wave is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So they wanted to detect the low frequency radio waves so that you know they can understand about any distant stars or the stars that were formed during the Big Bang in the early Big Bang in the early stages. So they wanted to detect it. So what they did, they released this uh, simple what to say, uh, uh, what, uh, what to say, this device, it was called as Arcade. This device was called as Arcade. This, this balloon was called as Arcade, which has, uh, you know, a radio spectrum, basically, uh, you know, uh, detects radio waves. Now, here's what happened. When they were detecting, when, when they were doing this experiment, they actually received a radio wave which was six times stronger than what they had expected. Six times more stronger. Basically, what they heard was a loud sound. Now, radio waves, as you guys know, is actually uh, used for, you know, what to say, it is also used for transmitting sound waves as well, because, you know, like your radios and all that, radio and all that, right? So sound is also something that can be transmitted through radio waves. So according to scientists, now we still do not know where this came from. We are still uh, under the assumption that it's it's coming from an early a star, a star which was formed in the early stages of Big Bang, but we still are not sure from which direction, where did it come from? We do not know that because the whole process, basically, it was only able to do about 6% of what it was meant to do. Only 6% of coverage was what it did. Uh, you know, it could have, uh, it couldn't do the rest of it because, you know, once they detected it, they had to bring it back down. So yes, guys, this is what is called as a space rule. So basically they heard a loud sound, which is nothing but a radio wave, which, you know, basically is, has low frequency and has traveled billions and billions of kilometers and reached the earth surface. So the entire universe is alive with sound uh, and space rule isn't just everyday sound, it's actually just these odd radio signals that we have detected throughout space, right? So that is the first ever, you know, uh, I would say a uh, detection that showed such promising results when it, came, when it comes to, you know, the space road. So that was why it was nicknamed as space road. It's not actually a uh, space road. It was nicknamed as space road because it was a very loud sound, which is six times more greater than what they heard of. The next mystery is something that is uh, there in pretty much all the sci-fi movies. Like if you've ever watched this series called as Flash, you know, the DC comic series called as Flash, You'll be able to see this something called as multiverse. So what is multiverse is nothing but your, you know, it's basically according to scientists, what they believe is that there are multiple universes, multiple universes. So that means that in this universe, I'm a teacher. In another universe, I could be a painter or I could be a dancer. I could be, uh, you know, I could be sitting on the streets. You never know. So multiverse is nothing but several universes, infinite number of universes is, the, is what they believe in. So there is a possibility that whatever we have, there could be a copy of that somewhere in the universe, somewhere out there, but over there things might be a little different. So this is another concept that scientists are trying to prove. But then again, a lot of theories, again, there's no definite proof. Let me tell you that there's no definite proof. But yes, uh, theorists and scientists do believe that there is an existence of multiple universes, which is called as the multiverse, you know, multiverse, parallel universe, all of that would come under the same concept. The last and the final baffling concept that we want to know about is this, the big crunch, the end of the world. So here's the thing guys, we know that the universe is expanding and the universe is expanding at a massive rate, right? It's constantly expanding. So it's very clear, first of all, that it has some energy. It has some energy because during the Big Bang, there was tremendous amount of energy being released out and that is what created the first initial universe, right? Now, if it has to continuously expand, there has to be some energy and that energy is said to come from the the dark matter that is the dark matter uh, you know the dark energy is what is providing that energy in order for the universe to expand but it is believed that after a certain point of time the gravitational force would become so much higher that the expansion would be completely reversed rather than expanding what would happen is that because of the gravitational force by the planets by the galaxies and the clusters of stars everything could get pulled back inside creating a single mass of tense matter which could basically wipe out the entire universe and maybe start over a new one this 
is another theory by scientists all over the world this is known as the big crunch again there's no definite proof but we are still trying to figure out if that is possible at all so yes guys these are the five baffling mysteries of science that i could come up with of the universe that i could come up with if you have any suggestions do let me know in the comment section let's see if we can put that up as a second series so until the next time we meet that's it from my side and also guys the Vidanto Pro subscription courses have started pretty soon. The first batch is already got going on right now. The second batch is going to be starting pretty soon. So you don't have much time. The seats are filling up really, really fast. So if you want an opportunity to study with the best of the best teachers and score 100% marks, link description. CBSE 10th and 9th would be starting on 10th of May. ICSE 9th and 10th would be starting on 24th of May. Maharashtra syllabus would be starting on 24th of May for 9th as well as 10th. For people moving from 10th to 11th, JE course would be starting on 10th of May and NEET course would be starting on 10th of May, right? Link in the description, enroll to the courses and I'll see you guys in the regular sessions. So that's it from my side, people. Thanks a lot for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you have any more industries that, we, that you want to talk about or you think that I've missed out something, comment section let's have a discussion on that all right so until the next time we meet thank you adios for now have a great evening see you also bye bye